Good morning, Sand Springs. I'm Stephanie Fagans, and this is my husband, Roy Fagans. We're the leaders of the Second Family Splash Group, and we hold your babies in the nursery. And we would like to share with you our story testimony. It's a three-in-one miracle. And 10 years ago, after we had our daughter, Anna, I was diagnosed with cancer cells that were growing. And my doctor said I needed to have a procedure to remove the cancer um, out of my cervix. And um, after that procedure, I had to have another procedure because the cancer cells kept growing. And then I had to have another procedure because the cancer cells just kept growing. And then the doctor sat down with us and told us that um, there was no more procedures because there wasn't much cervix left to remove. So the next step was to have a hysterectomy. So he told us that we couldn't have another child unless we had one now, um, or it was the surgery. And so my husband and I, we prayed about it. We seeked God on what we needed to do and his will for our life and for our family. And within a few weeks, I found out I was pregnant and we weren't even trying. So we knew that that was God. And um, the doctor told me that I was a high risk pregnancy and I had to go in every two weeks um, and he told me that I wouldn't be able to carry our daughter up at, I could carry her only up to 28 weeks and then I would have her and so I was part of a ladies Bible study and I shared with them what was going on and what the doctor had said and they laid hands on me and they prayed for me and I was able to carry our daughter for 37 weeks and she was my biggest baby um, and so six weeks later after we had our daughter um, it was time for the surgery and he told us that it was going to be an, an hour procedure it was going to be simple um, no complications and yeah so about an hour and a half into the surgery I was in the waiting room and uh, reading my Bible and just praying uh, over everything and um, about an hour and a half into it, the doctor comes out um, and says that the uterus was coming out like tissue paper. He had never seen anything like it. Uh, and during the procedure, he had cut into her bladder and that they had contacted a specialist. He was on the way uh, and they were gonna have him look at it and see if there was, basically, he was gonna be install in a bag and she would have to wear that for the rest of her life and uh, so I was just wrecked by that news and um, I just started my immediate response was just to start texting everybody that I knew and just asking for prayer for her to be lifted up and uh, I just I got down on my knees in the waiting room and I was just crying out to God uh, to intervene in the situation and uh, a nurse came out about it must have been about an hour after that and uh, said that um, the specialist is here he's he's uh, starting the procedure now but there is power in prayer uh, so that was encouraging to hear that from her and uh, so I just continued to pray the whole time and I'm not I can't remember how long it was that went by uh, but the, the doctor came back out, uh, I'm guessing an hour later, and said that the specialist got there and went in and could not find a cut anywhere on her bladder. And uh, so that they were going to finish up the surgery. And I just, I just fell apart because God is just so good and he, you know, in that situation he just answered that prayer immediately and um, it was just wonderful to see God work in that situation and the prayers of those other saints that were lifting her up with me yeah and so after the surgery um, the doctor wanted to send off my uterus to see if it was cancer because he assumed the way that the uterus was coming out that it was cancer that the cancer had grown to my uterus and um, again we prayed together um, with our group and uh, came back and we, I was cancer free and so so three miracles in yeah. one
testimony. It's just mm -hmm. amazing how good God is. Yeah, and so we encourage you to get connected to our splash groups.